Welcome back to Morrowind Monday. I am Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. I think I didn't do this intro for a few episodes now. Damn, shame on me. We were, or we just have been, starting to loot a um, ruin of some um, Daedric, that's the word, of some Daedric worshippers. And we are going to try to sell the spoils. So maybe he has something. Or he takes, he has 250 gold, let's see, we don't need it. No, he, oh, he only buys clothing. So we have our old rope. We found a better rope, that one is. I'm going to try on that other blue one, the rings. Yes. The amulet. I'm not going to wear shoes. I don't want to squeeze my paws into shoes. And uh, he doesn't buy any of these, so this means that's it. Okay. And he's immediately wearing the robe. Looking good on you. Nice. So let us see. We have uh, this robe here, and we have this robe here. I actually can't decide which one looks better, to be honest. I think I'll go for that one, the purple one. I think I'm... Wait, three. I think I'm going to keep this. We don't have a house yet, but if we have a house, we need some spare clothing, right? And I know that uh, in the house quests in the uh, of, of House Telvani, we will build a mansion for us at some point. So you are the um, assorted stuff dealer. Do you also sell, buy anything? Yes, you do. So that one needs to be kept. Fortify magic, okay, cure blight disease, cure common disease. Well, we now have the spell, so we don't need the potion anymore. No, it was shift, I guess. Bitrogen. Um, that was restore fatigue. That was one that I used to uh, to do alchemy. Restore fatigue, so we can also make some fatigue restoration potions again. That's very practice. And this time I did the German word on purpose. Fortify magicka. If we have a second one, else restore health is also always good. No, we don't. So again, skull I don't need. Let's see if we can squeeze it. No, he doesn't like us enough. Okay, goodbye. Time is precious, so make it quick. Well, I'm already done. So it ain't get. It doesn't get quicker than that. And recall. Let us refill the Magicka that we lost. Save and fetch the rest of the uniform. They did remove these spells in the later games, and these were the first ones that I missed. The, uh, the ones that let you teleport. So we will see. I can sleep here. That's... I'm going to take everything with me. Okay, it seems like I'm not living up to my own expectations here. I am starting to get pretty tired. This means this will be the last episode that I record today. And I guess the next thing that I'll be recording and thus streaming will then be Medieval Dynasty. And there's the next one. 
No, I actually don't think. I think we're neither in the ruins with that woman nor in the ruins with. Uh, well, we're not in my Alkashishi, so. That person must be a melee person because they immediately ran off towards us. But they can't get to us, it seems. Okay, there is some magic involved. I'm hearing hearing magic sounds. Ah, there they are. Yeah, they're they're hanging in in the something. You do not, I just thought, he said, you do not. Okay. I mean, I should have an advantage right now, shouldn't I? My blade skill increased, which means I deal more damage. Oh, just a little. Okay, we want to do this. Yeah, the item doesn't have any more charges, but it still does damage. It just does no longer poison the enemy. Ah, this is my fatigue, which is low. Uh, quality? No. There we go. So those restore health potions are... Ouch. Those restore health potions are self-brewed. Is what I wanted to say. I think I'm going to do this first. Okay, I think I'm going to, to sell loot first. Yep. Okay, but first I'm going to see if I can actually do some alchemy. So I do know that I can do the uh, restore fatigue thing. So we will try with that. Do I have... Yeah, I have the alchemy stuff here. I'm looking for the magic effect. Restore fatigue. Here we go. Restore fatigue. Restore fatigue. Even more restore fatigue. Ooh, restore attribute luck. I'm just still calling that portion restore fatigue. And I'm creating the maximum number. Oh, okay. Potion failed. Restore fatigue. And again, there we go. <sighs> and now we can get back. So, don't worry when the kitty dies. You re just remember, us kitties have nine lives. And even more within the games. See the intervention. If you want something, now's the time to talk. I want to sell something. You seem like a smith to me. So maybe you're interested in this, that, this, this, and even this weird thing. And I don't know, this is all these this big metal stuff which meddles with my with my magic ability. I think it doesn't in Morrowind, but in the Dark Eye it does. And I do love myself some dark eye. Oh, the seller has... I, I, I just thought the 1045 was my gold. He, he can't actually... He can't actually afford anything. He has no gold. What do you want? So he's not set up to be able to buy stuff. Okay. Well then, here's the lucky lady. With 27 gold. There we go. What? 
I'm giving you a bargain. 27. Speak, traveler. Traveler? Didn't do anything. Okay, I'm going to go and visit an old friend of mine. If you want to sell something, visit a good friend. We make a special trip just for you. Because us and Khajiit have to stick together. Where are you? There. Oh, the major skill transport is cheaper. I think it's only one digit and this was 20 gold. Our old friend, of course, is, of course, is Ravir the Trader. Fellow Khajiit. Certainly not a panther, though. I do love the music of, of Morrowind. It's so relaxing. It's actually in my relaxation playlist. Travel. But more. Yeah, it's only half the price. There you go. Hi, Ojira. Oh, doesn't she look so cute? There we go, up these stairs. I apologize in advance if I'm starting to talk less. As I said, I'm starting to get tired, which means I might start talking less and less. And before I'm like running five minutes without saying anything because I'm so tired, I'm going to stop streaming, barter. There, 600 gold, perfect. Take all of these off of me, all of this weird metal stuff. We may just don't need weird metal stuff. We have our robes. Manly robes. No, no. No, I, I know I kept that last time. I could, I could have made a levitate potion. Levitate, and there was another levitate one. Oh, I am keeping these. Um, I'm going to keep the books, and I need to recharge that, but I'm not going to do it like that. Recharging is not my thing, to be honest. Yeah, he's a good friend, so of course he's going to get a discount. Right, Ravier? You're a good friend. Look at all the stuff that he already has from you. This Dwemer shield. From me? From me. Why do I keep mixing in? Let me just claim it's me being tired. I don't care what anyone else says. It's me being tired. That's my excuse. Um, search field. I was too blind to see the recall. No, I don't want to delete. I wanted to clear that. There we go, until healed. Bloop. I know that there is a maze in there, but I'm going to leave it in there for now. And let's see. And bye bye Wolfie, have a nice dinner. I always mix up the Spanish words for dinner and lunch. So there we go, down in these, the lower part of those worshipper ruin things, which is pretty dungeon-y, dungeon-esque. Will you jump up there? Okay, I'm going to try, I'm going to try jumping up here. There we go. Did not notice us yet. There he comes. The summoner. Well.
As long as this, this bone walker is stuck here, I'm good. And he seems to be completely stuck. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, I'm not going to try to get in there anymore. No, no. Oh, no. I'm not going to get myself killed again. I don't have any ranged weapons. And I guess he has a very high magic resistance or something. So let's see where else we can go. Um, so I'm keeping to the left side, picking up that mace. There we go. Could be that still that the woman is in here, so... This is a trap door, so it could be that she's in here. I don't have any um, magic that undoes the trap, but I can just try to survive it. Oh, ah, I need first to unlock it, okay. That was on Doozy's open door. Let's do this. Now it's still trapped. Let's see how strong the trap is. It did not do anything that I can see. Oh, it damaged endurance. Okay. A lot. Good to know. So if there is no enemy here, we're good to go. Because we can go to the temple and have all that stuff restored. Ha! <laughs> There she is, Malexa. Okay. I'm listening. Well, listen, your husband is looking for you. He sent me to fetch you. Sazen has sent you. Thank you. I'll follow you out of here. Well, that is good. So we don't need to kill that guy down there or actually be killed a third time. I mean, nine lives, not 20. That's good, that was lucky. And I'm getting hungry again. Hmm. I already had dinner. Well, there's always snacks. There she is. Pay no attention to the naked corpse, please. I'm pretty sure you will be happy, happier with your husband instead of the corpse. Um, ah, travel together until we find the husband. Okay, that's that's some fine with that. But um, I'm just thinking, where can I jump down so she can? Oh uh, yeah, okay. So she can follow me because she now needs to be able. The AI needs to be able to follow me. That's the most important part. doesn't know where to go then she will just run into any direction yeah she can't pass that and she will turn around this <laughs> this is not passable place for her for the AI that is so I need to figure out how to get her She wants to walk up there. Can you just can you just jump down here? Can you follow me here? No, does not seem like it. Okay. Let me get back to her and then I think there is a second thing I could try. Because I think if I teleport... Oh, there she is. Okay, she found a way. That's good. So let's get... Let's get to your husband. 
It's a long way to her husband, so we better be on our way. And I know that my singing is no good, but I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, let's get that just, just around here. Is the sun. <laughs> there goes. Oh, so hungry. And the snacks are over there, but I need to. I need to take off the headset because the cable is so tangled that it's short now. So, this is where you want to go. Man. So, here, from here. That, yeah, that's the way. It it did not look like it. It looked like this was a cliff thing and the way it got around. She is able to cross the bridge. Sometimes the AI in Morrowind, you, you don't know sometimes, so... So the husband was pretty far away. It was somewhere here, or something like that. So after we reunited that couple. We are going to continue our search for male Kashishi. And then we're going to do some more uh, Daedric Ruin cave spelunking. But I'm pretty sure this will be in the next episode. Local, yes. That looks good. Let me just take a little, just rest for an hour so I am able to fight if the need arises. Because we want to keep you safe. We want to get you safely back to your husband, who was nearly in tears as he begged me to rescue you from the worshippers. No, there is, there is something coming on. Stay aside. I'm not giving up that easily. That's a good idea. I always hate when they are so close because I always fear that I accidentally attack them. Okay, there we go. My first thought uh, when I heard the battle music was that um, someone from that hut was still there. But I think we killed them and the game remembered. I think here or down there should be where her husband waits for us. Somewhere close to this uh, Silt Strider thing. Yep, words are failing me. Is it over there? Words are failing me. This means I'm getting too tired to actually stream on properly or record on. It doesn't make a difference because I'm doing both at the same time. I think I saw him. Yep, there he is. Perfect. We are going to hand in that quest and get the 200 septims. 
Hooray. <sighs> Good that I There's something that I meet you. About you. I found your wife. Oh, thank the gods you found her. I can only imagine what those bastards had planned for my Malexa. Please, take your reward, and I'll make sure to let House Red Orin know of the service you performed for me. Thank you again. Well, thank you for the 200 gold. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Things you do for you, for love. Okay, now let's see if we can find this something Shishi plays. It said west of Margan, which is here. Let me try. Let me see what the, where this road leads. If we go, I guess this just yeah, this is just a mine or something. But let's see where it leads. That niche is peaceful. Yeah, an ancestral tomb. Okay. Let's just discover the place properly. Allen Ancestral Tomb. I guess we need to be more south. This is kind of hard to see on the map. It's too bad that you can't um, scroll further on the map. Is that some kind of... I mean, it looks similar. Is that some kind of road? I mean, we need to be more... Let's follow the mountain range a bit more closely. Yeah, this this actually looks like it's a road. Okay, then let's keep on the road. Let's look where this goes. Rest. And there we go. On we go. Maybe this road, I mean, it follows the mountain range here. And maybe it will lead us to Malkishishi. This is what I was waiting for. Sun is blinding, and there is this is a ruin. This could be the place, the place where we are to cure someone from a disease. Since it is a day to groom, there are most probably Daedra around here, and maybe even worshipper. Worshippers that want to kill me. I hope that the person that I'm supposed to heal does not want to kill me either. Again, one of these harder to kill people. Oh. She also sports some kind of um, still restore health and also a restore fatigue. She also sports some kind of uh, enchanted weapon is what I wanted to say. Fire damage. Neat. Let's take it all. Because the winner takes it all. There are still enemies nearby. Let's head a little bit away. There we go. Until healed. And again. Go. 
there is a scam. I guess, yeah, since we can see the scamp up there, it's still, still enemy time until he yelled. There goes. So let us see where this place leads. Hmm. Just to a fire. Okay. And... Over here, another scan. There we go. Fighting music and no enemy. There he is. And that's all the enemies in the immediate vicinity. Which means... And the timing is perfect. I just found the door and the timer It's 30 minutes. So this means for all of you on YouTube, the end of this episode. Yeah, I'm sorry, but every episode has to end. Usually after 30 minutes. So next episode we will go and raid this place. Oops, real quick check. This is Mal Kashishi. This is the place we are looking for. So here is a guy or girl. Bullfirm Bra Sugars. It's an orc. I'm a kitty. Kitties don't know about orc genders, so it's okay. But we're going to find that person or that orc and heal their blight disease from them for the temple in Margan. Uh, no, for well, the temple. Yeah, Margan is just in my notes where west of Margan is where the shrine is, where we are. Anywho, <coughs> this is the end of this episode, and my asthma is coming back, so I should not be talking that much more. So, bye bye, see you next week on Morrowind Monday.